right in front of GBA. So Okay. So yeah, the combinations are uh <clears throat> Lenses, con, uh, diverging, and converging. So con. When you say diverging, do you mean concave? Con that yes. Thing yeah. That yeah. Con yeah. Is a, sure. a concave lens is a diverging lens. Big. Mm -hmm. It's opposite for mirrors. It makes it look smaller in. Well, all, it's a reference to what the light does. Does the light diverge or converge? Diverge. Um, so if it's if it's a, if it's a lens. lens that's shaped like this, where it's fat in the middle and skinny, okay. fat on the ends and skinny in the middle, that's, that's right. It diverges the light. So it's a di diverging lens, which, which is concave in shape. Right. Okay. Then, so within that one lens, you have either outside the focal length or inside the focal length, and they're going to give you two different kinds of images. Mm -hmm. So there's two combinations. Then you do the same thing for the converging lens. Will the light intersect? That's right. That will cause the light to converge. And, and, uh, and that's a convex lens. In, convex in shape, converging in what it does to the light. And so it's the same thing. Outside of and inside of the focal length. Two different types of images. So there's four combinations there. And then the same thing for the mirrors, but with mirrors you've got concave mirror, which is the light comes in and converges, so that's a converging mirror, concave in shape. And then the same thing, outside of or inside of the focal length. And then you've got your, I can't bend my hand very well, but uh, uh, diverging mirror, which would be convex, so now the light bounces and diverges, and then same thing outside of or inside of the focal length. So two for each type, and there's four types, so a total of eight possible images. So just practice drawing all, all eight of them, and you'll know the answer for any possible combination. Is that kind of like, can you think of it kind of like, uh, Whenever the, uh, when you say like inside or outside the focal length, is that right. kind of like where the eye Like, was? where's your object? Is it outside the focal length or is it inside the focal length? So if your object is inside the focal length, you'll get a very different image than if it's outside the focal length. Is it kind of like how the eye was in the back of the eye, how it was like when short or something? That's right. That's right. When the eye is functioning properly, it, it converges on your retina. And the, the image the image is formed on your retina. Which, I mean, that's but if your eye is not functioning properly, then so it, it doesn't. If we're talking about light from an infinite distance, then it will converge on the focal length. But like you and I are not infinitely far apart, so that light isn't... So the, the, my point is, when light is, comes from an infinite distance, then it's parallel when it hits your lens. And if light is parallel, then it will converge on the retina. But since you're closer than infinity, the light coming from you to my eye is not parallel. So, it's but it's, not so, it's a, so we'd have to step through this scenario. But at the same time, the image is still formed on the back of my retina. My muscles adjust the shape of my lens to make that happen. So I can look at you, and then I can shift and look at Clint, and both of you are in focus because my eye still functions. Give me another 10 years and that might not happen. But for now, <laughs> I can still see you and you. But right now, if I take this, like, I can see you and I can see you, but I can't see that. That's too close. Whereas when I was your age, I had perfect vision at all distances. I don't anymore. I, I've lost, I, I'm only good to about, I have to hold it out here to see something now. It's, it's pretty bad. I am. I'm an old man. <laughs> I, but it gets worse with age. The, the older I get, the worse it's going to be. Uh, here's the problem. So, you, you, yeah, you're right. You're right, actually. Eating good foods and using them, but not abusing them will help them. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't 
spend your life in staring at lasers and looking at bright lights in the sun all the time. Wear sunglasses in the sun and stuff like that and eat carrots. That'll help your eyes. Now, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. Video games are bad. I can't stand to be outside in a sunny day without sunglasses. Right. But all the same, your lens becomes more plastic with age. And so it's harder to... The part of your eye that the, the muscles shape becomes more stiff with age and it, doesn't, it can't change shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le sure, less plastic, more rigid. What you're saying is it won't change as you grow older. As you grow older, its ability to change shape decreases. I have sunglasses I can play in the locales in smart mode. Okay. Kyle, what else? What other questions do y'all have? All of them. I well, know in the future we're going to well, play Which one? Let's look at one more before we move on to relativity. Ah, okay. Different question. What he was talking about? How many make glasses that go from light to dark? Chemical reaction. Yeah, there are there are materials that respond to light, and there are materials that respond to stress. So, um, and it's just an, it's it's a function of the material. Yeah. Number thirty. Oh, okay. This is like the gas station. That's a gas station mirror, bro. That, that the gas station mirror, so do in right Okay, here. so you've got a, a convex mirror. Yeah, so the store clerk can see the whole store. Uh, it gives a fish eye view, so everything looks wonky, but you can see it all. Um, okay, so you're oh, okay. You're the store clerk, and you're five meters from the mirror. The mirror has a radius of curvature. Okay, so let's start writing this stuff down. I can't memorize anything. You really, you want to talk about something that gets harder with age. Yeah, that that also helps. That also does too. Remember things. That's why I can't be able to I can't do biology. Okay, what's the radius? Five meters. No, no. What's the radius? No, you're five meters away. The radius is 1.2. And uh, you are five meters away. Now, let's finish reading the question. Let's figure out, are you the object or are you the image? Okay, so let's, let's read the question. Okay, let me, let me read it again. I'll start from the top. Convex mirror, mirrors are used in many stores to provide a wide-angle surveillance for a reason for a reasonable mirror size. Your summer job is at a local convenience store that uses the mirror shown in the picture below. This setup allows you, the clerk, to survey the entire store when you are five meters from the mirror. The mirror has a radius of curvature of 1.2. Assume all rays are para, paraxial and quite part A. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore that if the, statement. If the professor can't even pronounce it, it probably isn't that <laughs> If a customer is ten meters from the mirror, how far from the mirror is the image? So the customer so what, is the object. The customer is the object. And the image. No. So let's, let's, so <clears throat> SO is 10 meters, the customer. The radius of the fisheye mirror is 1.2. That's the actual shape of this ball shaped quarter of a hemisphere mirror. Okay, but what's the focal length? Five meters. Wait, what? Focal length is R over 2. It's half of the radius. Got it. Mm -hmm. So it's 0.6. Oh, okay. So now, uh, 
1 over F equals 1 over SO uh, plus 1 over SI. You use this equation for mirrors and lenses. 1 over 0.6 equals 1 over SO plus 1 over SI. How do I find SI? He just said SO, yeah, so I didn't think you put it in. Yeah, sorry. I said it. I said one thing and did another. Just gotta subtract. Yeah. Yeah. Just subtract this over here. Six tenths or ten tenths six. Did we say sixty? Sure. That'll work. Sixty works. Multiply this by a hundred. Multiply that by six. I mean, it just has to be, so it would be 100 over 60 minus, minus six. 6 over 60, 94 sixtieths <laughs> equals 1 over SI. So what's SI? Um, 60 over 94. Whatever that can What is that? Possibly. Punched out. You want the decimal? Mm-hmm. Is that a real image or imaginary image? What does the light do? Look, here's your mirror. Here's your object. What's the light going to do? Draw it all from the person's head. It's going to hit this mirror. What's it going to go? Reflect that way. When it goes straight here, where's it going to go? Down this way. When it goes down here, what's it going to do? You see how the light diverges? Yeah, the real light diverges. But your brain looks at it and says, oh, this light came from here. I think that person is here. And this... Uh, <coughs> Floating inside the mirror. Uh, wait, I did that backwards. Let me try this again. There we go. So even though this is 10 meters out here, when you look at that mirror, it looks to you like this person is only 0.6 meters. What did it say? 638? Six, 638 meters inside that mirror up in the corner of the store. That boy's in the wall. And they, they look like, and they're right side up too. See that? That's a weird phenomenon. He's tracked. Maybe but those those fisheye mirrors look weird when you look at them. It just, it's just weird. Oh, this stuff's not instinctual to me. It it helps to do this. Just just go through and do each combination, and then it, it helps it become. And, and uh, I even made a little table for myself, you know. If it's this situation, then it's, it's going to be smaller, upside down, and real. Or larger, upside down, and real, or whatever. And no, it's just, it's, it's for, your, for your personal edification. You can't use it on the test. Is that what your question is? Yeah, no, yeah. I said, like, when I create, like, when I create... Oh, you want to compare it to this one? Yeah, to make yeah, sure absolutely. I have everything. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So I can study that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would be so much easier is if the engineer just designed a straight mirror so that I don't have to, like, be all freaked if out. If reality was just... But now, if you just put a flat mirror up in the corner... You couldn't see the whole store. No. So, so that engineer would be fired. Actually, that engineer wouldn't get fired, just that they would never be hired in the first place. I would get Because wrong. they would... I I've, met I've got a mirror know, for you. Like those gas stations and like the whole... Ba or, ooh, like a Walgreens. Have you ever been yes. to Walgreens and you see the mirror yeah, that's just like standing there so you see yourself to walking? Look at those as a kid, they would flip me out. <laughs> There are you know what I mean? It would be so much easier because I know he's on aisle 10, but that one I gotta like count. He's on uh, yeah, I bet uh, you that is like a aisle of the calls. I don't know, but it's like <laughs> three degrees to the right, and then you gotta crunch your numbers and then you're like, aisle 10. That? <laughs> yeah. 
So you, you stand there enough, you'll recognize all the aisles. You I'm start to. It's just. It's just like that. Uh, the, the mirror on the side of your car that says objects in mirror are closer than they appear. You don't really need that warning to know that. You you after you've done it enough times, you know. Oh yeah, that car is actually closer than what it looks like in the mirror. But it's cool to have. What, what but is but that? that's it's because of this. Yeah, the image. It's a it's a imaginary image, like and it appears to be farther away like your rear view mirror. than it really is. is there, there's no way to fix it, though, is it? No. Well, yeah, you could, you could... Fish eye mirror. Well, okay, so... You, you, wait, wait, so is there a way to fix it? Yes. No, make it flat. <laughs> so here's what we could do. We could, we could fix it Aaron's way, make it a flat mirror. Okay, so the rear, the side mirror on the side of your car, make it flat. And it would look just as far away as it actually is. They wouldn't have to put the little warning there. But you wouldn't see as much. Your blind spot would be bigger. Right, because you'd be looking so, like if you're looking at And so what they do is they make it a little bit fish-eyed. They make it a little bit fish-eyed so you have a smaller blind spot. So if, if you sat, because so, some cars are like one seat in the middle, yeah. Say that again. If, you're, if your seat was in the dead center of the car, so that means both would be fisheye to have small blind spots, right? That'd be a weird. Because that's the reason. Yeah. Like, like a, but you are right. Only one, one car, for example. I don't. Do they have side views? Yes. They're allowed to have mirrors. <laughs> they have. Yes. I don't know. Do, do they, they have headlights? <laughs> I learned from <laughs> cars. What were you gonna like say? Like this. Yeah, cars. 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 I think that race cars were allowed to have headlights. How are we gonna see? They always. They don't. They just go fast. You are going over to the yeah, Physically speaking, if I'm going you're fast enough, behind, that'll mean that I'll be able to slice anything with enough force I'll be able to cut whatever's in front of the dead cut, hand. Like real. Yes. Okay, so back to uh, reality here. Let's go to uh, relativity. Roosters. You and Brad always bring up the chicken. Where's the apple? How about that, Brad? need to pick up some rocks. Some rocks. You're gonna pay up on some rocks for me. Seventy-two million kilograms of rock. <laughs> All I know is he better get the dick in and he better get the dick better have a front end loader. Well, yeah, my thing is, where are you going to find 72 billion kilos of rocks? No, you just, well, just, just say one rock 72 million times. Right. So you if I use something pedal. that's like a grain of sand, I just yeah. have to lift it that many more times. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Which you could <laughs> definitely get 72 million times. What does this mean? Is this like new stuff or this is old? This is what we talked about last time. No, it looks like This is the time slip. Time is oh, it kind of does, doesn't it? It looks like art sign to me. What does this mean? Time is not constant. This tells us time is not constant. It looks like the art, it looks like art sign to me. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, so let, let's figure this out. Let's look at that denominator for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this going <laughs> <laughs> to. Let's say, let's say this is uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. This number down here, uh, let's say how fast you want to go. Let's make it, never mind, don't answer that question because y'all go oh, like man. super fast. Yeah. Let, let's say um, you're going to go 20. half of the speed of light. Whoa. You're going, you're, you're cooking. You found, you, no, no, just 0.5. You must be flying it. You've ship. got yourself a really nice rocket ship, which nobody's been able to make yet. But, um, <laughs> You've got yourself a really nice spaceship here, and uh, what's that denominator going to be? Say that one more time. What's the denominator going to be? Wouldn't it just be C? Because you 
can take the C on top and then Two. divide it. Look. What? Square root 1 minus 0.5, so it's going to be 0.5 squared C squared over C squared. Do you see that? Hang on, why did you square the top C? Because, see that square there? Oh. I'm saying your speed is 0.5 C. So now this goes away, and what's 0.5 squared? 0.25, what's 1 minus 0.25? Now what's the square root of that? I don't know either, That's punch it out, what is that? What is it, 0.866? Okay, so now, if this is 5 minutes, divide that by 0.866, what is that? Is it going to be more or less than 5? It's going to be more. What is it? 5.76. Okay, so let me say this again. Here's what this says. This says, <coughs> from the rest frame, somebody was sitting still. Let's, let's, let's make this situation here. Aaron was sitting still. And Thomas had himself a super spaceship. And Aaron watched Thomas do this flight. And from Aaron's viewpoint, it took Thomas five minutes to do the job. But from Thomas's viewpoint, it took 5.77 minutes. What? That's that relativity stuff. It took you longer to get there because you were going faster than me? Actually, I think I said that backwards. I said that exactly backwards. I did say that exactly backwards. Let me try this again. The, but, yes. From Thomas's viewpoint, from the rest frame, what I mean is the, the spaceship's moving and Thomas is in the spaceship that's moving, but from his viewpoint, the spaceship is not moving. So his, he's in the rest frame. It takes him five minutes. From Aaron's perspective, it takes Thomas 5.77 minutes. Can I do that in my car? Sure, let's try this. <clears throat> I see what that would like. 75 miles per hour. Okay. You're, gonna, you're cooking, going down the highway. Flying down okay. Yep. Let's, let's convert this to the speed of light. Let's, let's see, 75 miles per hour. Let's convert this to meters per second. What is that? How many, mi how many meters are in a mile? I don't know. Somebody punched it out. What's, what's the back cover of the book say? Back cover of the book always says. So that T, so regular T is the person standing still, T naught is the person that's moving. ruined your book. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's on the front cover. It's public. I missed the old oh, one. I thought it was your book for a second. I missed the 1600s. <laughs> like, Yo, did you just like rip a whole page out? <laughs> <laughs> I missed the 1600s. <laughs> 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 uh, we, <laughs> we had conversion <laughs> on that one. Yeah, okay, length. One meter. Where's miles? We had conversion on, on the seats. So there's a thousand meter. Okay. Say it again. Give me that one. There's a thousand meters and 0.6214 miles. Okay. And what about hours? We don't need to look this one up. In one hour, there's 3,600 seconds. Okay. So miles cancel out. Uh, hours cancel out, and we're left with meters per second. What is this number? <coughs> Okay, so now let's, let's stick that in here. Uh, 
33.39 squared divided by 3 times 10 to the 8th squared. Y'all y'all help Kyle here. Let's start punching this out. I'm getting the back lid one soon. I got to. Drive me nuts. I'm thinking I get one like y'all's. Thank God y'all's got to It's amazing. Yeah, it's like $200. I needed this in high school and I said I'm never going to buy another calculator. Yeah. I got one of them. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I plug that in right now. Okay, hang on. I got one. Yeah, that's a lot of charges. Did y'all hear that? Oh, wait, yeah. Just Why'd you get one? Because it's not fast yeah. enough to matter. Did y'all see that? What, what's this number here? This is so small that your calculator can't even handle it. Your calculator says, that's zero. It's not zero, but it's so small your calculator can't even handle it. So when we do one minus this super small number, we get one. So when we put one here in the denominator, what's the difference between this time and this time? Nothing. Nothing. Godly guy. What was the first thing you put in? So it's just... Uh, half the speed of light. So it's okay. so... 0.5c. Really okay. Exactly. It was only one name. Here's the point. 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 Here